Hello, the viewers. For the Christmas in the 2020, I got this Bose Solo 5. And I uh, just wanted to demonstrate how much of an improvement it makes over the built-in, the TV speakers that I have currently. I'm gonna play the same song twice. The first time with the soundbar, and the second time with the built-in, the speakers. The enjoy, the thank you. Now I'm going to do what Bose doesn't recommend doing and play them both at the same time with both the soundbar and the TV speakers. Bose recommends keeping the TV speakers down and that's what I do normally, but just for testing purposes, I'm going to have both. Now keep in mind the TV speakers were at full volume. They still are. They're still going to be for this next test. So I don't know about you, but I think the best results are just from the soundbar alone. Because you can hear these TV speakers are pretty crappy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, I love Apple. But come on, this is a dopey design. You could be sitting on the remote like this has actually happened to me. And look, look how easy it is to do stuff. The buttons are so easy to press that, yeah. Whereas, for instance, on the Roku remote, it's much more ergonomic. And I don't have to worry about that same problem. 
It feels better in the hand. I know, that's what she said. And this flimsy thing. Though I will add that I like the fact that you can recharge it. Whereas this one takes AAA batteries. And I do have the Duraleaks in there right now. Because that's all we have. So, that's it.